I'm Abigail, 100 years in textile business. I'm VP of R&D at Delta, Galil. Our journey starts when uh, I met Alon seven years ago, and uh, he has, I think uh, at that time, a vision about wine, and I has, uh, had a vision about uh, Delta with wine, and it was really... And uh, we start uh, to understand what's the twine and how can it um, go in line with Delta's uh, future business. And it was very, very far from realistic at that stage. But step by step and very quickly, uh, we decide in uh, Delta R&D, we explore a uh, new venture or uh, uh, working with the startup, ma mainly with the startup from Israel, uh, since we are here in Israel, in the north of Israel. So uh, we start uh, exploring uh, twine opportunity and we decide to test it. And we brought the first uh, twine machine uh, to our R&D center in Carmiel, Israel. Can you tell me a little bit how the twine machine uh, incorporates into your entire ecosystem? Part of our strategy at Delta, uh, no, it's not only the sustainability, is also the digitalization. And we are working in uh, so many ways, from design, we have uh, t design tools, uh, marketing tools, uh, 3D tools, for in all part of the digital uh, work. And we start from designing it, 3D, pattern making, cutting with digital tools, up till to salesman samples. Missing link was the dyeing, because the dyeing is far from being yeah. digital, as you know. And here comes twine and co incorporate with all this uh, uh, chain of uh, mm -hmm. digitalization. And we are building it step by step. And it was like uh, working with designers, working with the cutters, working with the salesman sample, and something was missing in the mid. Okay. Now it's there. So this was your mi missing link. Missing link to, to complete the uh, digitalization Great. from design to salesman samples. And in the future, of course, for production. And did it work as uh, easy and smoothly as you expected? I can tell you at the beginning, I said that this machine was uh, uh, pipes and iron from us because I was expecting something spectacular like the machine is looking now. Mm -hmm. But uh, at that time, we took a wrong direction. Uh, we start investigating yarn details, color fastness, matching color with customer uh, requirement. And we waste a lot of time at the beginning with the wrong direction. But then we realize uh, what we are doing always is finding a customer that has uh, the vision and the understanding of innovation, real blue sky innovation. And we found one and we start working on designing and using this beautiful tool. I called it like it's a color palette that you can paint with it. Mm -hmm. You can take a white yarn and paint what you want. And the, the moment that we stop working in the lab on a, is it the right yellow, is it the right color fastness, color fastness and colors is twine business for my, I trust twine that they will do their job perfectly. Delta is working with customers and the visual first was the eye catcher and mm. we introduced twine to our leading customers, our best customers in the colorful way, in the, to catch their eyes. That and was the beginning. What were the initial reactions? I think that everybody was very excited. And at that time, it was quite risky because everybody wants to try it. And we were at the beginning of the journey. Mm -hmm. So it took time. It took time and it was like balancing, showing. And you know, you can show once, you can show twice. And then you need to do something with it. Because you need to customer, deliver. Yes. And we wasn't in a, in, a, in a stage of a production. And then we found a customer that is very innovative. And they were willing to go with us to a trial. At the beginning, we started uh, by designing a very small few hundred of pairs of socks mm -hmm. uh, as a trial. And we arrange everything to make it happen. We choose the colors. And then it starts to grow. The numbers 
became bigger and bigger like a regular order. So we built unusual time in action because the machine is still in Israel in the R&D center because we are working on socks, on seamless, on uh, uh, sewing threads, and we need this machine. So we couldn't move it to our production site, which was in uh, Europe. So with digital dye on advance, the yarn in our R&D center, we create a three shift working together with twine. They helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. And we produce the yarns on advance. We send them to Europe, to the factory, to the sock factory. And guess what? Already in stores. Amazing. So it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And because uh, uh, the way we dyed the yarn, even uh, it's written that each pay, uh, pair is unique. So each pair is different. And I want to uh, say something that uh, I didn't mention at the beginning. All the umbrella of uh, the twine story for our uh, benefits is the sustainable story mm -hmm. and the supply chain. Because if you imagine uh, Delta is doing fabric, all kind of circular knitting. So fabric, seamless, uh, socks, all kind. And imagine how a warehouse of our production site and even the development uh, rooms looks like because we have hundreds of colors. Every customer has so many colors at the beginning. They have like a palette changing every four months. It's probably a lot of hassle and time to manage all of this. And, time to and manage place. money, place, and now during COVID time. And imagine if we are stuck in one of our production sites with lack of red color, just we need the four cones. We need to order the minimum quantity. We are stuck, we are waiting, we need to order it in advance from Far East or from wherever. So it's really very complicated uh, thing to, to manage. And um, so it's a different, we start with talking about the painting and how we can paint with twine like an artist, mm -hmm. but this is one angle, the supply chain and the sustainability of having nothing but printers mm -hmm. that we dye the yarn to match and stock of white or gray yarns from whatever. This is the main issue that I wanted to mention. Okay. By the way, you mentioned COVID. Yeah. Did you experience any specific uh, challenges? Sure, like everybody. And uh, I can give you an example from uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, Delta is leading in the seamless uh, area. Uh, really, we have very unique uh, techniques and unique machines, etc. And we are using uh, uh, twine to for visual logos or stripes mm -hmm. or whatever and present it to our customers. But during COVID, we had a specific request for one of our customers to create logo not from twine, from three different uh, uh, colors of polyester for the logo. Okay. And uh, we couldn't have uh, the yarns on time and we were stuck. We couldn't develop it because we are, were out of stock. And then we used twine <laughs> as a problem solver. So we died to match the yarns, which were not the original yarns, just mm -hmm. we want to show the design team of our customer the uh, colorway and how it's mm -hmm. going to look. And we use it as, we solve the problem immediately. So it, that specific sample, it was like a specific color that the designer decided that Sometimes. she wanted? Or was it uh, a specific color that for some reason was missing in the, in the warehouse? It's a combination. Sometimes it was like the other week, it was a specific three colors that we needed. Designer needed it immediately. They need to send the sample in two days to the customer. And we didn't have any solution. And we said, why not? We have twine. Although this specific sample will not be produced by twine because it's yeah. a different, uh, we use it to sample and be on time and answer customer demands. But sometimes the designer has an idea, they saw something, they dream about something, you know how designer works, and they need immediately three different color or a degradé or variegated or three colors in one centimeter or whatever they want. They are going to uh, the machine, they ask what they want and they get it the same day or tomorrow. 
And this is fantastic. And also, if we need, as I said, if we are missing uh, yarns in the sampling room, which happens all the time, if either if it's knitting or uh, sewing or for socks, no problem. Okay. This is so some, something. Just for me to understand, because I'm yeah. coming from the, from the new digital world, what would have happened with you know, that specific example that you gave me about the designer asking for those three colors, what would have happened otherwise without wine? Nothing. She would we have will stopped not, the process and waited for the, for the yarn? No, she cannot wait because the customer will already get it from somewhere else. Okay. okay. And specific, that sample was a patent that we developed uh, using uh, three colors uh, of a yarn in a knitting, uh, very specific way of knitting for a waistband logo. So she, she could have missed the opportunity to okay. introduce new innovation to a customer that wants to see it, and it will go on. It will not, it's not it's just it, a logo. It would have become a missed it's opportunity. It's not a big story. Yeah, yeah, I assume it was a, a big quantity. So this yes. was just an immediate yes. solution yes. to bridge the yes. immediate shortage. Yes. yes. Um, you know, we've talked about the journey so far. But let me ask you, when you look a little bit into the future, and if I give you a crystal ball and ask you, you know, what it would look like in five or ten years' time from today, how do you see this, you know, twine and delta... Uh, relationship together and where this technology can take you. I don't need a crystal ball. Uh, it happened the moment I met uh, Alon seven years ago because he at that time was concentrating solving very seriously the uh, uh, embroidery yarns mm -hmm. and in my imagination all Delta warehouse, yarn warehouses of socks, of fabrics so, are going to be white, only white, minimum stock, white and lines of digital printer dyeing the colors among demand. So you can have, if you can imagine, you can have an order, no minimum. A customer would like to have a seamless garment, 10,000 black, 300 yellow, and one purple. And you can do it because you will print among demand. And if you stuck with something and you need to change, you will do it on spot. You don't need to go to the yarn supplier. Your yarn supplier will be a white yarn supplier, only white. No dyeing, no water, not any more grading, second the polluter in the world as a textile. We are talking about different world and, and the crystal ball I can use to tell you that in the far future, I can see every machine, knitting machine, has twine device trying small printer on the machine that they will print or dye the yarn through the machine itself. Mm -hmm. This is my crystal ball. Amazing. But the warehouse is now. Okay. And what about the machine itself in terms of productivity and, and you know, the volume that it can produce? Listen, I trust Twine. I know them. I'm not doing only publicity <laughs> or PR for Twine. I'm talking from my experience. They are professional in what they are doing. What they promise to deliver to us till now. We have a wonderful color fastness. We have a wonderful variety of using the colors. And I think that uh, I trust them that the capacity will grow by the time. It's their job. Okay. Our job is to bring innovative solution to our customers. We are a textile platform to innovative solution to the customers. That's how we work. And Twine is one hand to help us do it, either if it's under the sustainability, supply chain, or the visual, which is very important, very, very important in our world. Amazing. Thank you very much, Abigail, for Thank you. making the time to talk to me. Lovely to see you. Thank you.